What's up, everybody? Thank you for clicking on the old channel today. Welcome back. Good to see you. Love to see you. How you doing? My name is Chris. I run the CBM 10 channel. This is my bike, 2021 Sportster S. It's insane. We're going to talk a little bit about my first ride and also my first service. Um, I bought the bike as a demo and had some K on it. I live in Canada, so we're in kilometers, not miles. Um, the first service was at 1600K. We're going to get into that. Uh, but let's talk about the first ride. If you guys watched my first ride video, it was, it was sick. This thing is no joke, this bike, guys. It's amazing. It puts the tarred in retard. It puts the dick in ridiculous. It's out of control. Now, the crappy thing is, is I live in Canada. And we're like the end of April. I've been out on a couple of rides since um, my first, well, one of the rides since the first ride. It's cold and it's shitty and it's scary. I, I hate riding in the cold. I hate riding in the wet. I, I like it when conditions are perfect because why the hell wouldn't I like when the conditions are perfect? Um, but it hasn't been that great here. It's been cold and crappy. Like today, you're going to see. I'm going to cut to our lovely weather today. Cut. Hey, so pretty. Oh, another beautiful day. So it's another beautiful day. What do you think of the snowflakes? Hey, come back, you silly snowflake. Come back, you silly snowflake. Yeah. Guess there's no riding in the next little bit, eh? Woohoo! There you go. That's how that is. It sucks. But whatever. I guess if I'm not driving it, I'm not burning gas, uh, I'm not putting kilometers on it. Well, I don't know. I'm reaching for the stars here, trying to find a silver lining. But let's get back to the first ride. Guys, it was unbelievable. This thing is so powerful. Uh, you crack it, the torque, it's out of control. How it can change directions. I'm not sure if you can see in the front tire here, but I've done a little research and I think, I might be wrong, that the front tire, yes, it's a big fatty meaty guy or girl, um, but it, it comes up a little bit higher, a little bit higher crown on it, which allows the bike to flop over side to side a little bit more. If it was a rear tire on the front, they're kind of flattened off a little bit and it would be lethargic, slow in changing directions. So I'm assuming I got to stick to a tire like that when it's time to replace it. I'm just guessing um, our other manufacturers, tire manufacturers will come out with a similar style because I, I, I don't really know. I'll have to do some research on that. But man, this thing changes directions unbelievably well. It's my first Harley. I'm a sport bike guy, kind of dirt bike trail rider. Um, I'm not the best guy rider in the world, but I've been doing it for a long time. I'm above average and we'll leave it at that. Um, power, delivery, amazing. The only complaint I have, I have the transmission. Um, it's not buttery. You know, I'm used to Japanese bikes. Uh, you know, Japanese transmission for the most part are pretty sweet for most, most bikes, the ones I've had at least. Um, it's, sometimes it's a bit hard to get it into neutral. Maybe because it's a demo bike and the previous 37 guys who drove the shit out of this thing were banging it and treating it like a piece of shit and now I'm going to pay for it. Who knows? Or maybe that's just the nature of the beast. Um, I've never owned a Harley before, so I don't know if that's standard practice. Uh, to be honest with you, who gives a shit? Neutral, big deal. Um, so sometimes at a light, I can't find neutral. And maybe as time goes on, I'll find it a little bit easier. Uh, I don't think so. I've been riding for, I don't know, Jesus Christ, how old am I? I've been riding for over 40 years. So uh, I think I figured out where neutral is on most bikes. But hey, who knows? Practice makes perfect, and I'm far from perfect. Um, so that's, uh, transmission was one thing. Um, second thing that I, I'm, it, it is rough. There's no toys about this. If you live in an area that's got potholes and shitty roads, don't buy this bike. It, you're banging around out there. But when the pavement is nice and it's smooth, holy shit, this is an everyday smile machine. <laughs> you're yelling and screaming, you're cracking the throttle. When you put it in the sport mode, the modes are over there. Woo! Oh, it's ridiculous. I have some other bikes that we're gonna race and some cars that we're gonna race as well and see how, how she does it. And, Hopefully I don't screw up too much. The second one, the exhaust. I've talked about it in other videos. It's disgusting how this thing sounds. I cannot express to you in words how bad this bike sounds. It sounds like a lawn tractor, a shitty lawn tractor at that. You can hear it. I, you know, I don't pay attention to my RPMs. You know, when I'm changing gears, everything is through my ear. I can't hear a thing. It sounds like, oh, it's, horrible but i got an exhaust coming i bought it a long time ago i don't know when i'm getting it uh, maybe i got scammed i went to some site and they just took my money and said screw you chris 
Uh, that's a possibility. I don't think so. It's a pretty reputable company. I'm not telling you until it shows up and I get it bolted on and then you're going to experience it kind of the same time I get to experience it. Uh, hopefully it comes sooner than later because to be honest with you, I love the bike. I hate riding it because of the sound. I know some of you have triggered some of you. That's the way Harley designed it. Wanted this and that. That's great. I don't care. It's my money. I want it to sound the way I want it to sound. And this thing, look at it. it oh, it's mean. Uh, a good friend of mine, he's big Harley guy, lots of Harley dudes. He's gangster, the bike's gangster. You know, that, that was cool. But the sound is atrocious, it's disgusting. Same, plain and simple. That's all the bitching, because the bike is amazing. You know, being human, we all gotta bitch a little bit. It's part of our deal, we love it. Um, but it's, oh my God, it's amazing. I, I love it. Um, the changing directions is out of control. I'm not gonna talk too much about how good the bike is, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Some of you guys watching this video had them. You know exactly what I'm talking about. They're amazing. Unreal. I can't wait to get some more time on it and really learn the bike because I'm at the learning stages right now. And you know, you don't just jump on any bike and think you're a professional unless you are a professional, then by all means do whatever the hell you want. But for the most of us, you know, we're just riders and you get to learn some stuff. So this is a learning curve. Um, it's hard to judge how fast you're going um, A, because of the noise and B, you just don't expect a bike like that to go this damn fast, but it's Fuck does it move, man. But you really don't corner, so whoa, slow down, slow down. Um, braking, I think, is fine. I haven't been riding it too hot. Again, the road conditions have been cold, so I'm not pushing it too, too hard. Um, that's how accidents happen, right? I, we still got gravel on our roads here. It's still cold. You know, it's just above zero. We're not even in double digits yet. Hey, no play. We should be, but you know, Mother Nature, um, she's schizophrenic because it's crazy. It's, it's snowing outside right now, guys. It's, it, it's disgusting. Um, We'll get there, we'll get there. I'm just saving money on fuel. No, I'm not, because I'm driving my truck, which is worth some fuel missing. Oh, there we go, three things. This is not good on fuel. My God, every ride's a tank of fuel, and I don't ride that much, um, because the weather sucks and it's cold. But who cares? You gotta pay to play, boys. You gotta pay to play. If you're gonna buy a performance vehicle or any type of vehicle, and you're gonna bitch about fuel and the price of gases, shut up, who cares? We can't control the price of gas. One little tip in life, homies. Worry about the things you can control. Don't worry about the things you can't control. Don't fill your brain up with a bunch of crap that you can't control and get pissed off and lose it. There's silver linings everywhere. Just look for those. That'll make life a lot simpler. Boom, next thing. Let's talk about this service bill. Are you kidding me? It's out of control. Um, let me grab my little trusty phone here. Want to see something janky? So I'm new to this. We haven't been doing it that long. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a garage YouTuber like the rest of us garage YouTuber losers out there because we can't do it anywhere else. I'll get outside. You saw one video I did, but want to see this killer setup? Yeah, look at that. Here's my stand. Here's a couple of bricks. This is some metal here that I rest my phone against. Um, this piece of metal here, let's do it this way, idiot. This piece of metal, that's for my license plate bracket. Oh, I was gonna show you over here with the license on the other side. And this is some fence post thing jababi. Gotta get creative, boys. Gotta get creative. You know, well, uh, once you guys subscribe, like, you do that over and over again, and I'll have a bunch of subscribers, and then I'll start making money, and I'll get a new stand that'll work. I promise. But here's the bill. Look, I put some lovely tape over top of it so you don't see. I don't want to tell the dealer um, the name of the dealer that I went to. That's my stuff. You don't need to know that. That's a VIN number. I don't know if I need to cover that. But uh, first service, okay? So oil change, right? Oil change. Um... I usually do oil changes myself. It's the first time I ever brought a bike to a dealer to get an oil change. It's under warranty. Figured, hey, might as well. Um, check, the, check this out. It's in Canadian. I did a conversion to American for you. Usually I make a joke about, you know, it's X amount of dollars, you know, $1,000 Canadian, which is like eight cents American. Not too far off there, but here. Here's my first service. I'm Harley. I taped everything out. It's a really good tape job, eh? See that? I'm an amazing taper. Um, actually, when I was growing up in school, um, in elementary, I won Taper of the Year Award. That's a lie. 1,600 kilometer service, so what is that, 1,000 miles? Um, blah, blah, blah. $280. <laughs> so, you know, oh, we, 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 we did this, we did that, we checked your chains, your belts, and your, your gaskets, and it's got 1,600 kilometers, or for you, America, 1,000 kilometers, but you're not checking anything. You know, unless the PDI wasn't done properly and the previous guys in the demo rides were driving the shit out of it. So, you know, anything's possible. $280 is your first service. Let's see what, 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 where we, how we got to that $280. Drain plug, $1.99, $1.39 for the actual O-ring. 
Um, let's go to the next page over here. Total parts, $92. Total labor. Labor, they changed the oil. $190. Um, we live in a beautiful country, so we gotta have beautiful country taxes. $317.88 for an oil change on a motorcycle. My truck, I have an F-150. I bring that to the dealer because it's warranted and whatever, it's just easier. It's $89 taxes in. 89 bucks, F-150. It's a 27, I'm not sure, turbo. I'm not sure how much oil it uses or holds, but I'm sure it's more than a bike. So with taxes, $317 for um, my lovely watches down in the States. Thanks for watching, US people, the most of you. Appreciate it. Go America. $247.38 in US dollars. $250 US for an oil change on a goddamn motorcycle. Ah, ah, that hurts a lot. But look, look how good it looks. Hey, doesn't it look amazing? God damn it. I just can't wait for this exhaust to come to get rid of this ugly thing. I'll tell you what though. Um, it has been cold when I've been riding and you can feel a little bit of heat coming from here. So when I get my new exhaust, yeah, it's going to burn the shit out of my leg. I can't wait. Woo. Oh my God. I love it. It's so amazing. So yeah, first ride, watch it, check it out. It was a lot of fun. It really was. I was screaming like a little girl. Am I going to get another little change done at the dealer? I don't know. I probably am just going to do it myself because, um, they're not cheap. I'm frugal. And at least I know how to do it. I'll probably just buy, I'll, I'll get the filter and oil. I'll probably buy it at the dealer and I'll just do it myself. Because if you're charging me that much in labor, guys, come on, it's just retarded. I need to spend that money on my bike that I can't drive because it never ends. Hey, no play. Winter here in, where I live in Ottawa, Canada. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Do appreciate it. Any return watchers, guys, it's amazing. One thing I'm going to bring up, you know, I get notifications when we get new, um, when I get new subscribers and every single one of those, man, guys, boosh, I love it. There was one, it tells you what the, their name is, and one guy. So if you're watching this one, Seth Till Death, but that's a great YouTube name. I, I love it. I was very happy. I've told all my friends. So thanks, bud, for, uh, for subscribing. And everybody else as well. Some of you got some great names as well, but Seth Till Death. That, 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 I like that one. That, that's well done. Mine is CBM10. There's a little bit of a backstory to the CBM10. I'll tell you about that later. Um, so that there she is. We're going to get out again on some riding. Again, I got some uh, some races lined up for it. And hopefully the exhaust will come. We'll get some before and afters. And I got some cool car races and a couple of sport bike motorcycle races. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to race against some sport bikes. Uh, nothing crazy. You know, like H3s or 4s or whatever those Kawasaki's are with a supercharged. But, you know, like 600s, 700s, things like that. Let's see if we can take them. And then some neat cars, too. Um, I got some, hopefully, some cool stuff lined up. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please like and share. Much, much appreciated. I would love for this channel to grow, and I would love for you guys to help me grow it. That would be just super cool, awesome, Wicked Scorpions Turbo 4000. So peace out, homies. Uh, you know, keep your wheels spinning, pissing everybody off, and have fun, man.